Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where that's exactly what I'm going to try and do now. I'm going to take a look at the Times crossword from today, that's Friday. Um, and let's launch this and see what we can see. Okay, so I think that window's looking about right. So first stronghold to protect an indefinite number after retreat. Okay, well, remember we have to work out which side of the definition or which side of the clue is the definition. Always in a cryptic clue, one side or the other will be the definition, so either the start or the end, or almost always. So here, the only clue really is the wor words after retreat. After retreat, to me, suggests a reversal, and therefore I think this end part of the clue is wordplay, it's not definition. So let's go back to the start. First, stronghold. Um, so again here, I don't know any words that mean first stronghold, so I actually think this is an eight letter word meaning first, like foremost, that could be good, couldn't it? That's got fort around the outside of something, let's put that in, yes, this is right, isn't it? So fort is a stronghold and that's protecting, it's surrounding a reversal of the word some, S-O-M-E, which means an indefinite number. So we managed to figure that one out. So one down, confronts, I'm thinking faces immediately. Having to collect ash container, hmm, they may be very hot. Ah, an ash container, furnace. Okay, urn is our ash container. Let's put that in the middle of faces, which is my first thought on reading the word confronts. So confronts is collecting our urn here. Uh, and that furnaces are obviously things that are very hot. Let's try and use these starting letters. Man perhaps writing half of the letters. Man perhaps. Man can sometimes be a reference to a chess piece. Or it could be an island, as in the Isle of Man. Or it could be an example of what, you know, what man is. A man is a mammal, um, writing half of the letters. Half of the letters, that's going to be like A to M or... As I said, I'm not seeing that one, I'm afraid. Three down. A line became hard to sort out as only fit for computer input. Ugh. Well... The only thing I'm thinking here is this might be an anagram. The word sort out suggests that we have to shuffle something or so rearrange the order of. Now, a line became hard is 15 letters, I think. Um, and that's what we need. So, as only fit for computer input. Machine readable. That's a guess, by the way. I'm not by no means sure that that anagram is correct. I'll go with it just because I can't be bothered to try and work it out precisely, but it might be right. Artifact of Catholic priest being held. Well, Catholic is sometimes Roman Catholic, abbreviated to RC, and Eli is the favourite priest of crosswords compilers because E, L, and I are such useful letters that he comes up over and over again. So. Eli is being held there by Catholic to give an artifact. Um, 12 across. The fellow is entertained by Greek following rationalist philosophy. Following rationalist philosophy. That's gonna, it's going to be something like Aristotelian or something. Um, the fellow is entertained. A fellow could be he, I suppose. How about atheistic? That might be a rationalist philosophy. So the fellow, he, and is, he is, is being entertained by Attic, A-double-T-I-C, which does mean Greek, um, as well as being sort of a room in your house. Attic is a word that means Greek. Um, so that following rationalist philosophy is atheistic. And this is a funny word, Ralph, I guess. Um, writing half the letters. Perhaps write it. Oh, that's very, very difficult. 
<laughs> it's a brilliant clue. Okay, so how does this work? Well, Ralph is the name of a man. So man is the whole of the definition here. Perhaps writing, well, the three R's in school are reading, writing, and arithmetic. So writing is one of the three R's, so that's just cluing this R here. Half the alphabet, or half the letters, is half of the word alphabet, just alf. Put that together, we get Ralph. Wow. Uh, stand where Gateman has returned. Uh, this is a funny word. Um, so if you, there's always one of these and every time's crossword, it's a hidden. Um, and if we look inside the letters where Gateman and return those letters, you can see contained within it the word etage. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I just know it as a crossword word, which is a, I think it's a stand on a table. It might even hold candles or something, but um, this is a, a crossword word here, E-T-A-G-E-R-E. -E. You can see reversed in the words where Gateman. Not easy if you've never heard of the word. Um, son, well, that's going to be the S here, I think. Little couple. Well, little, can we think of any short synonyms for the word little? I can think of one good one, which is we. A couple, a tie, perhaps. If you couple something, as in you attach it to something, you tie it. So sweetie is a beloved one. Um, so Mark's favourite uh, tip for solving cryptic crosswords is to take every word in the clue and think of every short synonym you can for it and shuffle those around in your head and you'll get better and better at solving crosswords because so many of the short synonyms recur over time. So 11 across, bound to take chaps into extraterrestrial sort of escape. Okay, well extraterrestrial, presumably that's going to be ET. So bound to take Okay, a bound is a lope, chaps are men, put all of that in the middle of E and T, and you get a sort of escape, which is an elopement. Great big bully pursuing maiden in the capital. Okay, well, here it helps to know that M can be an abbreviation for maiden. That's from cricket scoring. Cricket scoring comes up over and over again, so if you want to get good at crosswords, do consider... Or, you know, words like over will be abbreviated to O um, and uh, learn your cricket terms. So M here, great big, oversized, believe it or not. Um, bully is a cow. Um, and Moscow, obviously, is the capital. Um, let's have a look at this one. Oh, mad golfer keen to wed. Well, the word mad here is very suggestive of an anagram, especially if we, I don't know, when I look at the words golfer keen to wed, it's such a strange collection of letters that it feels, and I've said this before, like these particular letters have been selected, you know, they have to be these particular letters. So that's also suggestive of an anagram, and actually we have got 15 letters there, which is what we need. So a temptation that should be avoided is going to be a something of something. A temptation that should be avoided. I'm not seeing that. It's very annoying. I hate not being able to spot anagrams. Something surgeon provides for pain. Hmm. Well, I think this is a double definition. When I first read the clue, by the way, I looked at the word pain and I thought of the word ow, O-W. So I was then thinking, can I think of a construction here that would fit the rest of it? And I couldn't. So then I thought, well, what, what could a pain be? Six letters. It could be a stitch. And I think a surgeon provides a stitch. So I quite like that as the answer. So is this tree of knowledge then? Yes. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, seven down. Parent upset over boy getting cut in the head. Parent upset over boy getting cut in the head. I'm thinking this might mean in the head. 
I have to reverse a word for a parent. Presumably not just the word parent, because that would give me an N here. Hmm, I'm not seeing that one. Let's try this one. Language of love used by wise men. Well, okay. Love in tennis is a score of zero, and that's indicating this O here. Uh, wise men, or wise man, sorry, I think it's going to be sage. And no sage or osage, I think, is a language. Um, I can't even remember where from, but I've done enough crosswords to know this is right, so I'm going to move on. We'll check at the end exactly where the language of Osage comes from. Um, I should do this one. I can't get any more help for it. Instruction to give girl corporal punishment here. Okay, well, if you were to give an instruction to um, give a girl the cane or something, you would say hit her somewhat unpleasantly. And hither means here, so that's how the wordplay works, and here's just the definition. Now this one should be gettable, hopefully. A top man, weak initially. Well, a top man is going to be a king. Weak can be abbreviated to W, so waking I'm expecting to be answered. And you'll see here, I've not looked at the rest of the clue yet, so is getting aroused waking. So simply solve that from the wordplay and again the more experienced you get the more often you'll find this happens so what is this one then parent upset over boy getting cut in the head uh, parent ah should be able to solve that can't old soldiers being gathered came to the same conclusion Well, agreed would be to come to the same conclusion. So old is aged. Soldiers, Royal Engineers, one of the myriad of abbreviations for soldiers that you need to try and get a handle on. So aged surrounds RE, agreed, came to the same conclusion. Cigars given out with ale and port. Um, so this is going to be an anagram of the words cigars and ale, I think. And I should be able to solve this as well. Gosh, my anagramming is appalling today. So what is this? Algeciris? Okay, well that's actually quite difficult to see. And I'm not even sure now how to spell it just know my grandparents used to go there on holiday. <laughs> um, right, let's come back to the spelling of Algeciras and try this one. Oxford will always be beaten. Well, I fully approve of that being ex-Cambridge, so Oxford will always be beaten. Uh, I need to, that's the other thing, never ever read the clues literally. It's just, don't get it in your head that they, they are in any way meant to make sense. It just distracts you as this has distracted me. Oxford will always be beaten. No. Ah, no, I have got this, because I've guessed that this is a C from Algeciras, and then an Oxford is a type of shoe, and a shoe, an Oxford shoe, will always be laced. And if you beat someone, you lace them, so in past tense, laced is going to be the answer. Not half thin, like many a birthday cake, cut up. Well, I'm thinking of candled here. No, I'm not sure actually. Maybe it's iced reversed. Like many a birthday cake. Oh, not sure. Conservative head, receiving a guy who lives on an island. A guy who lives on an island. Yes, okay. Or who lives on an island. So the way I solve this, just to, uh, to tell you, is conservative I know can be C. So I was immediately looking at C at the start. Now, knowing that conservative on its own can be C, I knew that the word head here 
wasn't saying take the head of the word conservative. Actually, what we need is a word that means head. And one word that means head is bean. So conservative head, this is the word bean, receiving a guy, a and rib. Now guy here doesn't mean a man, it means to tease. If you guy somebody, you tease them. So to rib, obviously, would be a synonym there. And Caribbean, who lives on an island. How would you see this? I know. I'm going to get this, the spelling of this wrong. It's going to be very annoying. Um, why is there no you in the word Algiers? Um, okay, let's go for this. One going quickly. Turning miserable. Star losing love. Okay, well, one going quickly. A reindeer, indeed, that goes quickly. Dasher, I think, is the answer somebody who dashes. Um, so how does this work? Turn the word miserable, so we reverse the word sad. A star losing love, well a hero is a star, and he loses love. We saw love before for this O here. So hero without love just gives her, put them together we get a dasher. So not half thin, like many a birthday cake. Cut up. So is this going to mean slice? Is this just slice then? So not half thin is saying I take half of the word slim, I think. SL followed by iced, which means like many a birthday cake, and cut up is sliced. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work on what this is. So what what vowels are we left with? I, A, and E. Al Jacirus. Problem is, almost all those vowels could be in the wrong place. Al Jacirus. Jacirus. Oh, so annoying. I'll go with that. Um, minimal length of the incompetent person cut cloth. Minimal length of the incompetent person cut cloth. So I'm thinking this is going to be the name of a cloth. A minimal length. Well, there are printing lengths like N's and M's, E-N and E-M. After an incompetent person would be a, beginning with D. Mm, not sure. Okay, we're going to have to get some more answers. Food Rosie brought round as a possible first course. Don't know. Investigator given a ring in an awkward situation. Investigator, that's going to be something. My well, problem is that PI, something like that, or even detective inspector in, in an awkward situation given a ring. Diner travelling in carriage, prepared to talk to fellow passengers. If you're prepared to talk to fellow passengers, you're quite sociable. Friendly, how about friendly? And the reason I got to that was I can see that has an anagram of diner in it. So diner and this traveling is traveling is saying anagram the word diner. And a fly is a type of carriage, believe it or not. What an old carriage was to, was called fly. Um, I'm prepared to talk to follow, fellow passengers, you're friendly, so okay, managed to work that out. Um, 26, part of America with no room for trendy goddess. Well, no room for trendy. Diana, Diana is a goddess, part of America is Indiana, and if Indiana has no room for the word for a word that means trendy, well, if something's trendy, it's in. So um, remove in from Indiana, we get Diana. Delighted, probably glad, maybe to take in Jen's last. For organ, well, it is yes, it's glad with Jen's last in it, which is 
for the N, the final letter, the last letter of the word, um, or the name, Jehan. I don't even know how you say Jehan, but um, an organ is a gland, so that looks good. Glow of one about to engage in 11. Or glow, something like spotlight, must be something light, I think. Now, 11 here is probably the answer to clue number 11, which is elopement, flight, firelight. Okay, so flight is elopement. One about, one is just I because it looks like a one. <laughs> um, or more properly, I suppose, if you say I, you could replace I with one in a, in, in a sentence sometimes. And then about re... That gives firelight, which is the answer. So this then is duffel, is it? An incompetent person is a... Ah, no, no, okay. An incompetent person is a duffer. And duffer is being cut. So we remove the R from duffer and replace it with minimal length, which I think is saying take an abbreviation the shortest way you could write the word length, which is L. And I think L can be an abbreviation for length. I'm not certain about that, but I'm very sure duffel is a cloth, so that, that this is definitely the right answer. Dry area sinking into sea somewhere across the channel. Well, Brittany is the first thing that um, comes to mind. Now dry can sometimes be teetotal, TT. Area can be A. So this is looking good now. And briny is a word for the sea. So Brittany there, somewhere across the channel. Now what's this one then? Coroner? A corner. Yes. A corner is an awkward. If you're in a corner, you're in an awkward situation. If you put a ring O looks like a ring, into the word corner, you get coroner, which is a type of investigator. Oh, so this food rosy brought round as a possible first clause. How about chowder? Chow is food. Rosy can mean red. Red is brought round, i.e. it's reversed, and chowder is a possible first course. So I'll just see if this looks wrong. Uh, right, so what's this then? Uh, in the head, something like imagined or... Oh, trepanned. Gosh, that's a good word. Trepanned actually means cut in the head. Good Lord. So how does this work then? Um... Oh, parent upset is an anagram of parent. Okay, and that's going over Ned, which is a boy's name, and that's all meaning. So I think it's either this or this here, Algiers. I like the look of this more. Don't be the other. Don't be the other. This is going to be so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. I really apologise. Uh, there's nothing, uh, uh, nothing more I can say except that this is an area of ignorance for me that no doubt will amuse you all. So I hope, apart from that, that you got something out of watching me solve this puzzle. Uh, I will now go and hold my head in my hands. Um, but thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Um, some of you may consider uh, sponsoring us on Patreon, even though I can't solve the Times crossword. Um, so a couple of bucks a month, um, you get our own puzzle for that. And for $3 a month, you get a video on how to solve it. Thanks for watching. Back again soon.